Hello and welcome people. Um, my name's Martin and uh, I've been doing photography now for about nine months and I just thought uh, I'd share um, all the amazing places and maybe some tips for what I've learned on the way with you. Um, it's currently half past four in the morning. I know, crazy in it. And uh, I thought I'd go down to the Lady Bower Reservoir and try to catch the um, plug holes, what they call them. It's been raining for the last couple of days, so hopefully they're going to be overflowing. And there's a small window where the weather looks like it's not going to be 100% cloud, so we might get some colour in the sky. So that's what we're after, that's what we're hoping for, but uh, God only knows. Um, We've got the crazy dog in the back. I don't know if you can see her, but she pretty much comes everywhere with me. So, yeah, let's give it a go. Hello, uh, sorry about that. Um, as you can see, it's all just suddenly clearing. Uh, just had to work quite quickly at getting some more images. So yeah, uh, this is what we've got at the moment. And as you can see, this, it's still quite foggy over where I wanted the light to be quite nice. Um, basically, I'm doing kind of everything you shouldn't do in this shot. Um, I don't see the tripod, it's actually lent up against the wall, so it, it's at an angle already. Um, and I've had to do a pano because um, I've already got a, what am I on, 18mm and it's not going to quite get it all in. So, uh, yeah, so I've had to do a pano and it, the tripod's not level, so each time I've had to move it, I've had to undo the ball head and move it as level as I think in the camera. Whereas ideally, you'd have the tripod set up level so then you can just tilt, pan it. But obviously I haven't been able to do that and I've been doing it at a ISO 3200 just to try and get that mist before it starts to clear. And as you can see on the horizon, I'm just getting some nice colour and definition. So uh, I'm going to try and take a shot now. Right, so uh, Sorry about that, it all went a bit frantic. Everything seems to happen all at once. Uh, I didn't look, didn't think I was going to get anything today. You know, the weather really didn't look very good. And uh, I don't know if you can focus okay on that up there, but as you can see, the uh, clouds has turned a nice shade of red there. So uh, everything went off, everything. I had fog, then the fog was clearing and you could see the autumn colours in the trees. So I wanted to try and get that shot. And then the fog's cleared. So then obviously I've tried to, you know, adapt for that and uh, yeah, it's, it all happens all at once. So I'm thinking that you're going to get nothing to it all kicking off. Um, the first set of images, when I first came, it was really too dark, but I could tell I didn't think it was going to lift at all. So I just tried my best. I had to ramp the ISO up to 3200, um, just to try and get to focus and to try to get an image. Um, so I did a long exposure at 30 seconds with just a polarizer on. And they really did, on the back of the camera, they do look quite good. They might make for an interesting black and white shot, a bit grainy, maybe being at, well, it will be at 3,200, but they might actually turn out okay. Um, then later on, as it, the fog just started to lift a little bit, I had to slip in a neutral density filter just to try to bring down the highlight of the sky. And uh, yeah, still looking at an exposure of around 20 seconds or so. 
but um, it is really quite awkward here because 22 mil on the lens doesn't quite get the hold of the plug hole in. So for quite a lot of the shots, I've had to have the tripod at an angle over the wall, and then with the tri with the ball head like pointing up to get it to go level. But I've not been able to pan as you would do normally, so I don't know whether or not it's going to stitch up okay post processing. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's looking quite nice here. I'll uh, pan around a little bit. Dog likes the scene as well. <laughs> You're undressed. Coats come off. Um, what I've got it set at is to F14 and because the plug holes aren't too close to me so I focus on the foreground and obviously with all the faffing of that to do with the tripod over the edge and it being at all, all an angle as such I've not wanted to focus stack so um, I've used F14 focused on the uh, foreground and then I'm hoping that all the background should be sharp enough anyway. So yeah, I've had a uh, polarizer on because there's quite a lot of glare. Um, I've had uh, neutral density filter in later on. Um, I always use um, a countdown on the uh, on my camera because you know to eliminate the uh, shake. So, yeah, hopefully we'll see what the images are like. So, thanks for watching. Maybe see you next time. Hi, ah, yeah, um, hope you can hear me okay. Um, literally, I was just walking back from the plug holes and look at this scene here, all that mist just on top of the trees. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So I've gone for a panoramic view just because I didn't know which bits I wanted to get in. So take a panoramic, stitch them all together and you can decide afterwards, you know, you can look at which bits that you like or don't like. Um, by the looks of it, this mist is starting to lift up a little bit. So I might take another shot now, actually. Um, I don't know if you can see, but from where the reservoir comes down from behind us, it leads down to here and it's creating this spray that's coming up. And it looks obviously it's adding to the mist that's already there. 
So yeah, there's like a clear patch where you can just see the trees. So uh, yeah, it's looking very misty, very moody. And with the autumn colors on the trees, hopefully um, should be able to get something. Um, camera battery is just about to die which is always a good sign isn't it and uh, I've had it in portrait and landscape like I say I've done panos of the scene so that I can pick out any little areas that I want to in post-production um, I've got uh, neutral density filters on um, yeah uh, manual mode So uh, hopefully the, I'll put the shot up now. Yeah, so uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, on this scene here, what I've gone for, what I've just noticed is the two um, trees that are really kind of gnarly they're uh, all the leaves are off they look a bit very very weathered it's like a contrast between all the other trees that have got the leaves on plus you've got this mist um, yeah I've kind of I've cropped it in just so that you're getting those two trees and them upper trees and obviously the mist coming in between hopefully that's going to make um, quite a nice image. I've got the graduated filters on just to pull down the highlights from the sky. Um, I've got ISO 200, uh, F14 and yeah there's uh, Instagrams bang on in the middle and as you can see the weather's changing and that quickly here the fog's just rolling in and out just uncovering a few bits of the trees and then taking them away again but yeah hopefully hopefully that image has come out okay If I spin you around where I was to first thing today, perfectly clear. So, anyway, I'll pop them images up now. Hopefully, you like it. Hopefully, you'll join me again. Give me a thumbs up. Any comments you want to make, it's fine. Right, best go home and then uh, go to work. See you later.